Good morning. Good morning to my friends around New York State, here in upstate New York, those around the country, and to those around the world. For those who've seen my last video, they remember, they will remember, would have remembered, uh, these two bobbleheads here who are uh, raining, and if you can call it raining, or uh, administrating in Washington, D.C. right now. The uh, Make America Great guy here is Bobblehead, and his dummy over here, Pence. Uh, George Will, by the way, thinks this guy's worse than this. He may be right, he has a good point. Because if this guy goes, you get this Bobblehead over here. You got these two balloon heads leading Washington right now. But the problem, the larger problem, is that Congress, who's supposed to be run by a, there's a system of uh, checks and balances, which maybe, uh, if you paid attention during fourth or fifth grade, or later on, or even if you were absent that day, you should know that there is a system of checks and balances whereby Congress can check the power of the presidency and the Supreme Court. It's a triangle between the Supreme Court, the, Ch the Congress, and the president, and the, and, the, and the executive branch. Executive branch, legislative branch, judicial branch. Three branches, they form a triangle, if you can imagine that, and each one checks the other. Well, these guys here are run amok, and the Congress, these little midgets, these uh, sawed-off runs, and the Republican Party have done nothing to keep these bobbleheads in line. Let me explain. Now, if you can see these, now, these bobbleheads, now there's no doubt, these guys are only actors. They play the parts of balloon heads, of idiots, of morons, of stooges. This guy slaps this guy, this guy slaps back, they all slap this guy, but you get the idea that, that these three stooges form a checks and balances. Now, of course, we remember that uh, this guy here, Mo, he was sort of like the uh, bobblehead over here, um, Trump. And, um, and, and Larry, uh, from the Three Stooges. Keep in mind, these are just actors. These bobbleheads are the real thing. It's a shame, absolute shame, what's going on in Washington right now, where the Congress that's supposed to keep these guys in check has done nothing and even has co-opted their power to the White House, those Republicans, Right t today, and by the way, here's uh, today my old local paper here, for what it's worth. I couldn't get a Times today. Um, well, I couldn't get, we, the Washington Post does not come up this far. Um, the, uh, for, for what it's worth, the Republicans, several Republicans, I don't have their names right now, are meeting with the uh, Department of Justice to uh, uh, discuss some uh, t uh, classified information that the, the Congress will give, let's call, let's call this, uh, who are we going to call Congress? Let's call this guy Congress. Um, Curly, okay. Curly, you're Congress. And he's going to get uh, highly classified information. And what's he going to do with it, of course? Is most likely turn it over to the bobblehead in chief, who's going to give it to this. I don't even think he'll give it to this guy, uh, number two, because he wouldn't know what to do with it anyway. That's a not, that's a, such a knucklehead. And uh, so together, this is the crew. You've got a, a Congress that does nothing and can't do anything. The Supreme Court, who are we going to call the Supreme Court? Uh, one of these guys. They can't do anything because nobody has, people have to bring things to them for them to decide. And the Congress is, uh, is all tied up. They can't do it. And um, so that's what you've got. You have an ineffective executive branch, a worthless legislative branch, and the Supreme Court can't do anything. So that's the state of affairs in Washington. Thank you all for watching. I do have a part two of this, uh, which I'll make uh, shortly. Thank you.